boys, so EA have released a new La Liga players, Lewis Miller, or Luis Miller, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced, uh, Milestone. Now, obviously, we did have this Oxford card. There is actually a review on this Oxford card, and I actually really enjoyed this card. So I kind of had high hopes for this La Liga card, and it is safe to say it's a tad little bit disappointing. Sure, if you chuck a shadow on him, he goes to 88 pace, like 93 defending. He'll, he'll be really okay in that sense, I guess. But still, you want, I want like a, a La Liga attack of that, you know, more meta, especially with the market. Theoretically, how much would this card be on the market? Personally, if this was a tradable card on the market, I don't think it would be any more than 15,000 coins. To put it into perspective, I'd love, like, I remember last year, we had a La Liga Gonzalo Guedes, I'm pretty sure, the Portuguese dude for Valencia. See, now that's a usable card that I would like. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, boys. If you guys are new to these objective series, what we're going to do, or what we always do, is we go over all of these objectives. I'll give you guys my tips and tricks on, you know, how to complete it. I'll go through the managerial masterpiece game mode if you guys, you know, are, are confused about that. And then I will build a squad builder between 10 and 20,000 coins. So it's a cheaper squad builder for you guys to use uh, to help complete it. So without further ado, boys, let's get into it. First off, we've got win 10 matches using only the league of players in the starting 11 in a life foot friendly managerial masterpiece score 30 goals using the league of players assist 20 goals using the league of players assist with a through ball using the league of players in five separate matches which is a through ball is triangle on the playstation and y on the xbox and you've got score a goal from outside of a box using the league of players in eight separate matches and this is going to be a very very tough one um i know in the past like last fifa with all of these outside of a box objectives it's going to be tough, I'll tell you that. Um, now, my number one, I'll give you guys a, a, just a little bit of a bonus tip. I won't include this with the, the tips and tricks later on that we usually do. Um, just a bonus tip with this one, and what I personally do for these score outside of the boxes, is what I do is I simply just ask my opponent. I message them if you've got the PlayStation app or the Xbox app on your phone. Uh, or you could obviously just message them through the PS4. Just make sure it doesn't kick you out of a game, because if you're inactive for like 40 seconds, it will kick you out. But anyway, you message them, you get their game attack, and you literally just say um could i score an outside of a box goal i'll let you score an outside of a box goal you both give it outside of a box goal and then you play on from one one now obviously you need your opponent's trust and if they do agree to it i mean both parties are going to walk away happy and obviously you can play out the rest of the match um from one one and go from there because this outside of a box especially with the managerial masterpiece game mode it does have a rating cap on it, it it's going to be really difficult to score some outside of a box goals when the players you're using are not too great whatsoever now the managerial masterpiece uh, game mode requirements team overall rating at most 77 88 and higher overall players at most one at most one lone player and you can have no players under 74 rated and it's a little bit unfortunate they actually changed the requirements for this managerial masterpiece um literally after i did the oxford objectives video so apologies for that one but anyway boys let's get into the managerial masterpiece squad builder for this league card right so this is the lineup we have come up with now obviously you can have you can't have any players lower rated than 75 so you can't have any players any silver players or lower essentially can't have any bronze or silver players on the bench as well now we have got the 177 rating on the dot as you can see it is going to let us search for a match now the team or the lineup we have gone for is a 4-4-2 left striker we have gone for Suarez now we did originally have uh, Morales I'm pretty sure but once he's too high rated he's 81 rated the rating will go up to uh, 78 so what we've done is we've got him and he actually is probably one of the better you know 78 rated or below or 75 to 78 rated range of the league of strikers 6 one of high medium pace is really solid some okay shooting as well and uh, now we have also gone for Anaki Williams we all know Anaki Williams four-star skill moves he's just the guy he, he always has been like one of those meta players to use in managerial masterpiece etc etc left mid slash left wing it is a left wing played on i mean he's on 10 keb anyway so left mid is ansu fatty once again a very low rated cheap option some nice agility there with 89 with good pace left center mid we have gone for a little bit of a hyperlink there uh, we have gone for pedri and we have actually paired him up with carlos solar i'm pretty sure it's pronounced and this actually looks like a really 
really good, well-rounded card. Right mid, we have it gone for Chuck We Ah, oh, no, I'm not sure. I also Samuel. I'll call him Samuel, his first name. So we've gone for Samuel at right mid. Um, once again, one of the better uh, gold common plays in between that 75 to 78 rated range. Now, left back, we have actually gone for a player that will do the job. I mean, good pace. Or other than that, defending physicals, average, dribbling's okay. Uh, but it's what's expected, right? He helps with the requirements. Five foot nine as well. Now, we actually have got a star center back in here. And I feel like, I mean, he uh, we're going to build the team around Kunde because we all know how overpowered Howard Kunde is. He's only like 4,000 coins as well, um, and I feel like he's a must-have in this managerial masterpiece team, because it's going to be sweaty out there, and obviously everyone's attackers are a little bit behind the part, you know, Naki Williams, they can't, literally don't have much players they are able to use due to these requirements, so Kunde will be absolutely phenomenal in that sense. He'll help you so much defensively. Now we have also paired him up with Ruben Avizo. Right back, we've gone for Dest, and in net, you just have to go for any 75 rated or 76 rated might be pushing it uh, gold common keeper now tip number one make sure the bench is 75 rated gold commons they don't have to be from La Liga just please do yourself a favor make sure you have a bench as a seven or all loss on 75 um, because obviously it keeps the rating as low as possible this is I'd, I'd say the most meterish if you will or the best team you can get for the rating and I mean I know managerial masterpiece uh, some people like it some don't because everyone's using similar teams no one can have a god squad so pay to win is non-existent in this game mode now boys let's hop over to the tips usually i say tip number one um is full out the bench with some super subs to bring on but you literally can't do that as it will go over the squad rating so we're going to uh, jump straight into tip number two which is technically tip number one for today and we're going to head over to the handy footbin once again i'm not sponsored by footbin or not affiliated with them i just use this app personally myself now what we're trying to say here is going to just basically be chemistry styles let's take ansu fatty for example you can load up on Footbin, 700 coins on a PS, no clue why he's 2k on the Xbox, but he's 700 coins on the PlayStation. You can see all of his in-game stats, and the beauty of Footbin, ignore the ads as well, apologies about that lads. Um, but the beauty of Footbin, you can apply different chemistry styles onto him, and it will show you what it affects in-game. For example, we'll put a Hunter on him, and in-game he goes to 98 pace, he goes to 90 finishing, 74 positioning, uh, he goes to 74 volleys as well, and as you can see here, he goes to a 79 rated left wing in game instead of a 76 rated uh, now we can try maybe a marksman we'll give him a plus 8 dribbling a plus 7 uh, shooting and a plus 5 physical and he goes to an 81 rated left wing so basically what I'm trying to say is chemistry styles uh, can significantly make your players feel better in game you don't have to go out and buy hunters for 5000 coins and shadows for 5000 coins just search your club you might have some lying around for example chemistry styles obviously I probably wouldn't use hunters I'd use them for your main players because they're 5,000 coins a pop. I personally keep the Hunters in the Shadows, but I know finishers, just chuck a finisher on them. Um, obviously, any chemistry style is better than the basic, and the finisher in-game, as you can see, it puts them up to 98 finishing. I'm pretty sure that is. Uh, 98 finishing, 88 shot power. He also gets a plus 10 agility, plus 5 balance, and plus 15 dribbling. So, tip number 2, chemistry styles can significantly help you out. Now, tip number 3, this is going to be one that you would want to do after you get the score outside of a box goals you have to score in 11 separate matches but you need to score an outside of a box goal in eight separate matches so you've got you know after you give it eight outside of a box goals as i said earlier personally i'll just message your opponent um let him score an outside of a box goal and hopefully he'll do the same from you then you can either both jam your controller if you if you you know if you want to get that objective done um or you could literally just you know just play it out from there have some fun but i know lots of people will be doing that and then just jamming their controller um but for the score in 11 separate games let's say theoretically you did complete this uh out eight outside of the box goals there will be a few people doing golden goal in this game mode uh so if you do want to do golden goal then just make your team name golden goal and happy days now we're just going to go over to end off a video we're just going to go over the objectives once again and kind of explain how it works but it's quite self-explanatory and i know lots of people literally the hard part about this objectives um and trust me boys i've been recording 18 minutes it took me like 10 minutes to literally sit here and try and get the right rating um but the, the main thing you just really have to get your head around is the, the squad so win oh it's win 10 it's not even uh no never mind yes yeah, win 10 matches so that's going to make it even sweeter i thought it was scoring 10 separate matches so yeah win 10 matches um once again it's going to be the same thing right you're probably just going to ask your opponent to score a goal 
goal outside of a box, you do the same. And then you can just play it out from then and see who wins. The score 30 goals and assist 20 will come naturally. Assist with a through ball as well and score a goal out from outside the box, as I said. Message your opponent and if he lets you get one, you can also get one. Or you can get one, you let him get one and then you can play out from 1-1 as if it's a normal game. Hope you guys did enjoy. It's been your boy Davis. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, see you later boys.